mean, the government seems to have quite a good grasp of what the challenges are, uh -huh. and, and you just uh, mentioned some of them. But in your mind, are there also any unknowns, or at least known unknowns, that you, you feel you need to prepare for? Uh, because, as you say, technological advances, social changes, sometimes happen faster than anyone expects. Right. Uh, are, 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 do you have any of these known unknowns in mind as, as you want to prepare the, the, the government as well as the people? Well, I, I think our biggest unknown in, in the years ahead is going to be the nature of uh, politics in Singapore. We have had 50 over years of very constructive politics. We've been able to keep our society cohesive and, and united. And we've been able to achieve consensus on the large number of short-term as well as long-term issues. And that has allowed Singapore to really make good progress. Now, will we continue on that journey? I think that depends uh, critically on uh, the nature of politics in Singapore. How are we able to mobilize all Singaporeans uh, to take part in this process and at the same time to keep politics constructive, forward-looking, and that so that we can tackle the many interesting challenges, I mean, many challenges ahead, many interesting opportunities ahead. Is, is the PAP preparing itself in any way then for, for, for this particular unknown in terms of how politics you see can potentially evolve in a way that's not necessarily as cohesive as it used to be? Yeah. Well, the, I recently uh, uh, spoke to the Chief Technology Officer at, at Shell and for the first, you know, we learned scenario planning from Shell. And for the first time in Shell's history, they came out not with four possible scenarios per se. You know, they, they did come out with four possible scenarios. But for the first time in our history, they said, we must have a normative scenario. This is a scenario that we must work towards. <coughs> and of course, uh, you know, the 4G leadership is working on a normative scenario to keep politics in Singapore constructive to keep Singapore cohesive and united. Because if you look around the world, uh, many parts of the world, societies are fragmenting. And uh, political polarization is a very serious problem. When I was in Davos as well as recently in the, in the US, I had many uh, discussions with uh, political and business leaders and, and leaders in various parts of society on the changing nature of societies in different parts of the world, in Europe, in, in America, in, in Asia. And what, is, uh, what everyone has been very alarmed by is the speed at which society is fragmenting into, into parts. And so many societies cannot have the political consensus to do the right thing. And even more worrying is that many societies do not take painful measures which are necessary for the long term. Everyone promises that you know, things will be easier, better, and sometimes to the point of telling untruths. And I think that is not the kind of politics that we should have in Singapore. That we must be prepared to face realities, even if they are harsh. To face it squarely and say, well, look, how do we go about resolving this? And how do we create a better life despite these constraints, despite these problems? And that is a key challenge in all society. And I hope that in Singapore, we can do it well and keep this consensus that we've had for so many years.